reading and rating the homophobic comments that have been coming through my Instagram recently on this video in particular, which I realize might what? be a little controversial. Oh. It's meant to be silly. <laughs> and there have been a lot. How dare you steal the rainbow, which was God's promise, not a gay flag. Five out of 10. Well, I didn't realize that God had put a copyright on colors. God didn't create you. It was the devil. I feel bad for his dad though. If he even has one. Zero out of 10. What if I didn't have a dad? That'd be so mean. Execution is the only option. Ah! Zero out of 10. Anger management. Aggressive. His, par his parents failed as parents. <laughs> I have like pretty great parents. Zero to ten, inaccuracy. My dad's a bit of a softy, but like I don't think he made me gay. And my mom is like definitely gay friendly, but like maybe they did. Oh, this one's good. You can't be gay and Christian. Every Bible ever made proves this. Zero out of ten, false. I, shocking, believe it or not, actually would identify as I would identify as Christian. Well, at least I grew up Christian. I grew up going to, you know, going on mission trips, and I was in youth group, and I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved the community. I loved all everything about it. Um, granted, my church was like pretty open-minded for the most part, so I didn't face a lot of like the, I didn't like see the uh, the conflict between the two things. And it's been a minute since I've been to church, but I'll go on holidays with my family still. So I would say I'm Christian. Yeah. So false because I'm gay and I'm Christian. I can't imagine seeing his parents, bro, after this one. Have you seen my mom? Like, have you seen any of my videos with my mom? Go to a train track and lay down there for a few hours. Zero to 10, aggression again. Damn, what a waste. Five out of 10 for the compliment. <laughs> you could have had so much potential. Five out of 10, same thing. I'll take the half compliment. God would never give you such disabilities. Um, hello, are we just discrediting the fact that there are disabled people that are wonderful people that walk amongst us every single day? And God, what, were they, were they dead the devil's work too? Zero out of 10, illogical. F is for, oh God, 10 out of 10, SpongeBob reference. Saving more of the ladies for us. 10 out of 10, now that's the spirit. There's still water in that straight cup, meaning deep down there might still be a chance for you that you're still straight. Oh, geez, eight out of 10 for that positive optimism. I, maybe someday. I pray for you. Eight out of 10, I feel like that was well-intentioned. I'll take the prayer. It's not gonna change. God made you strain. You let the devil convince you to be something you're not. As if I literally have had like sit down conversations with like a man with horns, just like chit chatting. You know what? He sounds kind of fun right about now. He didn't make you like that. You chose that path. The anger, the anger. It's so wild. Why would I choose this? Literally, why would I choose? This? In fact, I saw, I saw, um, I saw an interesting study that took ten, ten like homophobic straight men, and ten non-homophobic like ally straight men, and both of them were shown clips of gay corn. I can't say the word. And if, it, if, if what you're watching arouses, you know, stimulates some sort of brain activity, i.e. you're aroused, and what do you know? All the homophobic guys, they were the ones that experienced like an arousal in their brain from watching that. So I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, 11,000 people liked this comment. Don't bring God's name into your gay fantasies. What are y'all on? Like, this is cringe. You know what, 10 out of 10, I can be cringe. Quit it, you're straight by a margin. So you think I'm straight? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Sissy boy. 10 out of 10 for turning me on. Blank is proud of being gay, can you believe it? 10 out of 10, I am, I'm proud. It took me a while, but I am. So what's so interesting about these as I read them is like, I mean, there are, if you go to this video, there are thousands of comments like this, truly thousands. And it just reminds me, it's such a good wake up call that not everyone thinks the same way that I think. And I think sometimes we get caught, so caught up in these little like bubbles of the internet thinking that we all just feel like, oh, we're all so open minded nowadays. When in reality, there's still so much work to be done. I think it's, now that it's Pride Month, I think it's good to actually remember this. Um, and most importantly, that God doesn't make any mistakes for those of you who are religious. As Gaga says, you're born this way. Happy Pride, I wanna leave on a positive note. Not everyone is bad. Most people are wonderful, loving, kind human beings. I really do believe that. And um, we just have to stick together and just prove them wrong all day by putting a smile on every single day and trying to show up um, positively. So anyways, I love you guys. Happy Pride. I'm wishing you well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below, maybe something nice and not homophobic. And um, I will see you guys next time. Ciao, nos vemos.